When President Wea was elected, and he got to SKD, and he saw the whole place crowded, no space. When he took the podium, he said to the people, I met you on their feet, I leave you were watching the king, right? Y'all were spectators, y'all were looking, right? But I will put all of y'all outside, y'all will not even be on their feet again. So, Chairman Payne, when the president said Liberians will not be spectators in their own economy, that's true. Because he met them on the feet and he put all of them out of the feet. So, that one is true. There is no better time in this country for Ambassador Braga to be president than now. This country requires somebody who will spend uh, out of every 24 hours, somebody who will spend about 20 hours listening to the problem of this country and giving direction to the problem of this country. When President we are said that we are not at Miami, that's true. Miami is the best place for holiday. That where people can go and enjoy themselves. All the big hotels and, and boat ride and everything in Miami. So when he sat in Jamaica and in a small war and they play pool and everything is there, but they play in Miami. So most of the things you can say that true is that I can be rare right you now. Huh? We all feeling it. When President we are entered the fee and saw the spectator, Ali Yagu pay your children school fee, right? Yes. When he saw the spectator, Ali Papa was coming home with plastic bear, right? Yes. When he saw the spectator, yes, we had some drugs in the clinic and the hospital, right? Yes. But he put everybody out of the fee now. Nobody on the fee again. He alone having a game. I like to say to you that no better time than now. If you miss this chance, the next six years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next six years, I don't know what will happen to this country. When we came for war, and Madam Salim and Ambassador Baga says, small light today, be light tomorrow, right? Yes. And they started building a road and fixing small, small things, right? Yes. And they got things set up. Ali, they rescued the economy at the time. Yes. People who were full, people could do things for themselves. Yes. People were trying. Yes. The Liberian people said they wanted President We are. He came, he broke everything down. We got one blessing. The deputy of the, the deputy captain on the ship at the time. The captain is still around. Nobody understand how to fit this country equivalent to the deputy captain at the time when there was nothing in this country. When we even took the wires out and so on, we dig wires from the ground. They king and started putting wires. We were blessed for God to preserve Ambassador Baga, and I am grateful, Ambassador Baga, that among all the young people in this country, you took me to drink from that wisdom and knowledge. If you are privileged to sit by Ambassador Baga, in every one hour you go home with something, and when he say it to you, he will not just leave it that way. He will say a imparable and give story so you can understand a better. And that's why when I was in Bikana and the journey had me and said, in Battle of Braga said he was old car. Parked in the garage. I said, no, he didn't say old car. I said he said he was a race car. Parked in the garage. And that's true. The constitution said the president will the vice president will assess the president, right? And so if the vice president will assess the president, it means the race car that is ready to pull to move that can run from here to promise today. 
But the president said, you must stop to the bridge. You got to stop to the bridge and come by. Nothing me, you can't read for me. But the instruction was, you must stop to the bridge. And so that's the truth. Where I stand now in Badra Paga, say, lead a program. Run to, to, to Lofa now. Oh man, I ain't even reaching to my heart. I will start my car now and start going to Lofa. I will call my wife and say, the chief, I'm going to go to Lofa. That's what it is. And so, the, the story he tried to explain to explain to people, people twist it at a time. And at the time, people were not willing to listen. But thank God, our president, we are became president. And at least all of us have seen his presidency. So every day the government is campaigning for the opposition. Every day the president campaigning for Ambassador Bwakai. We should have gone to Nima the very time we announced on the radio when Nima and Bokati and Babalu that the same time the president said Igori, we now follow him, let him go. Because he wants us to go and gather the people, then he enter among the people, he say, oh, you all see my crowd? He feel in Maserati already. So he won't go hustle on our side. No hustle there. We will beat him there. We will defeat him over 80%. Carry all your money there. We will beat you. Thank you. God bless you. We will beat you there. We will beat you there.